Good morning, children. It's a real pleasure to be with you again as we continue our series through this book, What Every Child Should Know About Prayer. And we've learned some wonderful things uh, in recent weeks. Um, very simply put, we've learned that prayer is talking to God. What a wonderful privilege, what a wonderful thing it is to be able to talk to God. And we've learned, really importantly, that when we speak to God, that He hears us. Isn't that wonderful? It's not nice when, when you speak to somebody and they don't seem to be listening, but that's not the case with God. He's always listening, yeah? And He's always interested in what you have to say to Him. That's wonderful. We learned through Uncle Andy last week that we can use our bodies when we pray. Uh, sometimes people, well, a lot of the time, people pray with their eyes shut. Um, and that's really so that we can focus in on God, yeah? So that we don't have things catching our attention around us, yeah? But we don't have to pray with our eyes closed. We can pray with our eyes open. We can pray uh, lifting up our hands uh, as if it's, it's like a sign of us lifting our prayers towards God. We can pray when we're sitting or when we're standing, a group or when we're on our own. Well, I've got a few questions for you today. It may seem rather silly, but let's see how we go. Okay. Could you play a full game of football with 22 players, 11 players on each side, in a full swimming pool. Hmm? What do you reckon? Do you think you could do that? I think you could try. I don't think it would succeed. Yeah? Another question. Could you make or cook a fancy meal? Really fancy meal. Not just hot dogs we're talking here. Yeah? But a really fancy meal whilst driving a car. Hmm. Well, I think you could try, but it wouldn't be a good idea. You'd lose control of the car and have a smash, wouldn't you? So don't do that at home. All right. And I don't think you'd be able to, to cook a really fancy meal whilst driving a car, if we were honest. Another question. Can you paint a wonderful, accurate painting? Accurate's a funny word. It means a very perfect painting, yeah? Whilst jumping on a trampoline in the dark. Do you think you could do it? Yeah, I think I think you could give it a go. I don't think it's going to be a wonderful painting, though, and I don't think it's going to be very accurate. Remember, you bouncing up and down, and the paper or the canvas is bouncing up and down in the dark. How are you going to be able to paint a proper painting while that's happening? Yeah? Again, you'll make an awful mess. Don't do that at home. Right. Could you, last question, could you walk for a mile? So that's probably you're thinking, well, I could walk for a mile, but then... Bear with me. Could you walk for a mile on the moon, on the surface of the moon, wearing just your pajamas? What do you reckon? Yeah, again, uh, don't try this at home. <laughs> I don't think you'd be able to get to the moon, but nonetheless, no, I don't think you would be able to do that, would you? You see, all those things, yeah, you could try and do them, but all those things that we're describing, you need to do in the right place, at the right time, and with the right equipment. Yeah, the, the astronauts that went to the moon and walked on the moon, they wore very special spacesuits because there's no oxygen on the moon. So you wouldn't be able to breathe. You wouldn't get very far walking in your pajamas on the moon, would you? In the same way, if you try to cook a fancy meal, a really fancy meal, you need to be where? In the kitchen, yeah? With all the special equipment that you need to cook a fancy meal. In the same way, if you try to play a game of football, where do we play football? On a football field, yeah? Okay, so those are all examples of, of things that you could do, you could try, but it wouldn't work out very well, either for you or for the painting or whatnot, yeah? Because you need to do those things in the right place, the right time, with the right equipment. Well, today's lesson is a wonderful lesson. You can do something absolutely anywhere, and that is you can pray. That's wonderful. Absolutely anywhere. We can pray with other people when we're by ourselves we can pray at the table in the car we don't need any equipment yeah all we need is our thoughts and our, our feelings and we can speak to god anywhere we can pray while we're brushing our teeth or when we're making our bed we can pray when we're in a big crowd of people or when we're alone in a room in fact god really likes it when we pray to him in secret and he doesn't like it when we try and show off and try to impress people with our prayers. That's not the point of prayer. Yeah? 
You don't want to be showing off and showing, oh, people thinking what a good person he is, how he speaks to God with all the fancy words. Remember I, I, the last time I spoke to you, we said we don't need to use fancy words to speak to God. We just need to be real with him. Respectful, yes, because he's God. Yeah. And real. In fact, Jesus said these words in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 6, verse 6. And he said, but when you pray, go away by yourself. Shut the door behind you and pray to your father in private, in your room somewhere else. Yeah, then your father who sees everything will reward you. Now, Jesus wasn't saying you only can pray in your room. No, far from it. Because Jesus prayed everywhere. He prayed on the mountainside. He prayed in, in houses. He prayed everywhere. He prayed to his heavenly father. And we can pray anywhere. But what Jesus was saying here was don't show off when you pray. God likes it when we come to him in private and speak to him. Doesn't mean, of course, we can't pray with other people. But don't show off when you pray. But isn't it wonderful that we've learned today that we can pray anywhere and that God will hear us? Yeah? It's not like trying to play football in a full swimming pool or try to walk on the moon in your pyjamas. Not like that. It's not something silly or impossible. Prayer can be done anywhere by any person and God is listening. Isn't that wonderful to hear? So today we've had, learned our lesson that I can pray to God to makes me happy to talk to him wherever we are. Yeah? So let's say a quick prayer. And then we'll have a song. Dear Father God, thank you for prayer. Thank you that we can talk to you even as we're doing now. Thank you, Lord, that we don't have any special equipment. We don't have to be in any special place. We can pray anywhere, Father, and we know that you hear us. Help us to keep prayer simple and true. In other words, telling you how we feel and what's on our minds. And may we never make it, Lord, a thing where we look to impress other people with the way we pray. pray, Lord. Lord, let us always be looking to you alone, speaking to you alone, Lord, with respect and with love, because you love us. And we thank you that we can pray to you anyway. We pray this in the precious name of Jesus. Amen. Time for a song, I think. God bless. No birthday, you have always been. You alone have no beginning and no middle and no end. You're always with me. You are everywhere. In New Jersey or in Egypt, even outer space, you're there. Everything you are and do is unbelievable but true. You're the God of God of war, you're more than I could ever, ever dream. The more I learn about you, the exclamation points abound to the God of war. You're never needy, how could you be? You made everything on earth and in the sky and in the sea. You're never lonely, the Trinity Father, Son, and Holy Spirit Yet you're reaching out to me Inviting me to come to you Inconceivable but true You're the God of wow, amazing How could this be? You're the God of wow You're more than I could ever, ever dream more I learn about you, exclamation points abound to the God of wow! I can't find the words that could be big enough, loud enough. There could be no song that I could sing enough or shout enough when I want to praise your name, but don't know how. I just say, wow, amazing, how could this be? And I say, wow, you're more than I could ever, ever dream. The God of wow, amazing, how could this be? You're the God of wow, you're more than I could ever, ever dream. The more I learn about you, exclamation points abound to the God of wow.
best of all.